guys welcome back to the poor investor so today i'm actually going to bring you some calculations that i did after the discussion that i had with mr b if you didn't see that video check it out in the description below it's basically saying why do chia farmers give up and what was his reasoning for it now if you didn't watch that entire video all the way to the end i know it was a little longer than i normally put out videos but at the very end of that discussion mr b said he will hodl onto xchs if it drops below a specific price opposed to farming which makes total sense because he obviously finds that it's very painful to continue going on buying more hardware farming paying electricity costs it just doesn't make sense for him and i'm sure a lot of you guys are on the same boat so what i'm actually going to be doing today is taking a couple of calculations based on small farmers now we're not even considered small farmers depending on what size you were because that was one of the questions that i asked way in the beginning about a year ago i was trying to get an answer to what is considered a small farmer and i think one of the responses whether it was from gene or bram at that that time it was like under 500 terabytes and i'm like that is insane now i wasn't even close to that maybe i had about 10 20 terabytes at most from that point on i guess what's considered a small farmer is even has grown even more now so let me just go over really quick what i'm trying to accomplish here the first thing i want to start off is that i've taken a lot of calculations into consideration from chia calculator now these are just static numbers and of course these numbers can always fluctuate but what i'm planning to do is you know whether it goes really high or it goes really low we're just going to take the median basis of it and calculate it for an entire year i went with a 16 terabyte now when you convert a 16 terabyte over to an actual bit for bit it's 16 terabyte comes out to 14.55 tib so this is the calculation for that so when we put it into a chia calculator it actually only asks you for the tib or the gib numbers not the actual tb numbers because i've taken that into consideration 16 terabyte is for 14.55 and that's what i've entered in here what's the next step we did go and look for retail stores where they sell 16 terabytes now you're asking me why 16 terabytes well because out of from experience 8 terabytes 10 terabytes 14 12 18 terabytes do not have the same capacity efficiency such as a 16 because when you plot the entire 16 terabyte drive which in this case 14.55 tib you're getting very minimal space left so in average for my particular 16 terabytes i'm i have a remaining of 2.8 gigabytes which is really low in comparison to the other size drive and with that being said there's about 147 plots in there all right so that is the efficiency of a 16 terabyte drive probably if you can afford it that's what most people should opt to get because you, now you're left with very minimal space unless you have some use for the extra space that the other drives cannot fill with a plot i know if you go retail and depending on what store or where you're ordering it online these prices are still very insane now the cheapest that i'm seeing right now is 284 dollars 99 for a 16 terabyte and these are brand new oh you have this western digital for 298 dollars what about speed are there any differences between these brands of hard drives of course there are technically but for chia i don't think it's really that important so let's just say we took for instance you wanted to buy a retail drive and you want the warranty on it and you said okay i'll, I'll buy a drive that i can manage and plot to for 16 terabyte bytes 269.99 is probably one of the lowest i've seen right now on new egg but if you opt to go to like ebay to buy it used or second hand you probably can get it for a lot cheaper now i am going to take this into consideration i'm going to say in my spreadsheet that i'm looking at a used price drive and i'm averaging it out for 230 dollars but that's not even including the tax or maybe possibly shipping most times you could probably get free shipping so let's go with 230 dollars now let's take in consideration the price of chia today it's at 63 dollars it has been sitting here for us you know for some time now it's it been going up and down we can look at the seven day we can look at the month one month it went as high as 76 dollars at one particular time a month ago we're fluctuating so let's just take in consideration today's price of 63 dollars here is the infamous spreadsheet that i have this is really based on the discussion that i had with mr b from the last video which you guys had a ton of comments on some of you guys felt his pain and some of you guys said that you know then he's not worth you know staying in chia i feel his pain and i see where other comments are coming from that do not agree with him but let's take this into consideration that you are a new farmer into chia you want to buy a hard drive now you don't have extra 16 terabytes of drives laying around or space like that most gamers i know filled up their space with a whole bunch of other nonsense most of the times drive capacity do not come by that easily unless you're in the industry and you're getting a lot of used equipment a lot of us are not in that position 
position, my, myself included. The XCH price is $62.99 and the 16 terabyte hard drive, I'm estimating it to be around $230. Now that's a price that may be more or maybe less depending on if you find a great deal or not. Now this $230 is and will be a used price because trying to find that retail is highly unlikely at this very point in time. My electricity cost is $1.44. How am I calculating that? And I'll show you guys in a little bit. Based on 400 watts of daily usage at 0.15 kilowatts per hour. Why am I saying 400 watts? Well, in my real honest opinion, a 500 watt power supply is pretty common amongst regular PC users. Now you have to factor in other components in the PC, processor, motherboard, memory, hard drives, how many hard drives, couple miscellaneous things to draw in that power, whether it's external or internal drives, all that is consideration of this price. Now I'm just taking a very high level, 400 watt, it's a decent amount. So we'll, we'll average it to there, all right? We're not talking about Ethereum mining, GPU, eight rigs, seven, eight, 10, nine, 1100 watts. We're definitely being very modest here at 400 watts, right? $1.44 is not too bad in electricity usage. If I have the 16 terabyte drive all plotted out, this is fully utilizing farming at this time with pooling. We're not calculating the power consumption when you're actually plotting because obviously that's gonna be a little higher than what I'm calculating now, but I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt that this drive is already plotted. All right, we're gonna use it as a plotted drive for farming. Your daily earned XCH, right? XCH price is 0.29 cents. That's 29 cents. This is all in USD and that's one day. In one day, you would get 29 cents minus the $1.44 electricity use, your negative $1.15. We're, we're taking all this into consideration. In 30 days, you're minus $34.50 because your power consumption will be more than what you're actually earning. Now, the only thing I can say what 16 terabyte would do for you at this point is basically giving you a discount on your electricity bill if you were to have this machine running regardless whether you're playing games or you just have it on or using it as a multimedia station if you're looking to make profit off of this 16 terabyte drive that's not happening right now i don't know how anyone else is doing the calculation to be in a positive which right now a 16 terabyte it's highly unlikely that you're coming into the positive so after 365 days you're spending minus 419 dollars and 75 cents now remember this price is only for the entire duration of this that the price does not go above or below the 63 dollar mark for xch now it can but if it averages back out to 63 dollars these are the numbers that you would potentially see for the next entire year that's also including the fact that the nest space does not change now how do i get these calculations for the electricity here's a calculator you can just plug in how many watts now the wattage is all based on what your machine is running on i'm taking again i said 400 watts is very typical of a machine especially running a few hard drives here and there i'm getting these negative numbers because my daily earned XCH is 0.0047. That equates to 29 cents based on the $63 price or $62.99. And the electricity for that one day is $1.44. Take the 29 cents minus the $1.44, you're in the negative $1.15. Again, we do it for the 30 days, $8.98 minus $43.83, you're getting negative $34.50. So these are things that you're paying out of pocket while farming. So even though you're earning XCHs, you're not really earning anything to be in the pot Positive, you're not really making money you're spending money on electricity costs and keeping this machine farming going back to the video that i had with mr b is that he said he gave up on farming because the electricity cost just doesn't make sense when he actually has about 100 terabytes on Chia. And because the price keep on coming down, let's just say the $62.99 comes even lower. Now your negative is even higher, if that makes any sense to you, because you'd be paying more in electricity than you're making in XCHs. So what he's saying, and to sum this all up, is that he would rather buy the XCHs directly and keep it and hold it on for it for X amount of years to see if there's any potential in growth. It'll be a cheaper alternative than to actually farm and buy hardware to maintain all this stuff and worry about up updating the software like we're experiencing right now with the 1.34 which I haven't even done myself yet so remember this is all hypothetical calculation could be totally off by the next week because XCH prices can hit $100 again or it can hit even lower below the $63 that I'm talking about right now so you obviously have to take all that in consideration 16 terabyte drive even if you were just jumping in and Chia just to test out the water you're not making anything you'll earn XCHs that's fine so you could probably take the $230 and buy 
may be a little bit under 4 XCHs and have a better chance of hoping that does well than you farming. Now farming, if you want to learn about it and you want to get into the technology side of it, by all means, you know, you buy the smaller hard drive and do whatever it is that you want. But right now, even for a 16 single terabyte drive, you are not getting into the positive because you're not earning enough XCHs to cover your electricity costs. And well, that's because the current price of XCHs and what you can earn based on the current network space and how much you're getting per day is not offsetting or covering the cost of your electricity. So and if anyone else tells you otherwise, I want them to prove it to me. So thank you. Please hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.